Down on Susie's farm near San Diego, owners Robin Taylor and Lucila de Alejandro are hosting a very special event. We've got some mint for the drinks tonight. Tonight will be our largest uh, uh, dinner at the farm. We're having 250 guests. All of the vegetables and fruits that we will be consuming tonight are grown here on Susie's farm. The variety and quality of the farm's specialty crops is on full display in this year's menu. For orders, we're going to be doing uh, little pizziettes, little small pizzas, uh, with a little house-made ricotta, uh, which is from a local farm. Uh, it's going to have some Susie Farm cold feed uh, tomatoes, a little dried oregano from Susie's Farm, and some chili oil uh, from Susie's Farm. Then we're going to have Susie's Farm watermelon. The watermelon, we take it, we put it in a sous vide bag, and then uh, put it in an airtight vacuum with whatever flavors we'd like. So this one is a champagne vinaigrette. Cantaloupe, cucumber, a little red onion, arugula, and uh, some radishes with uh, champagne vinaigrette and ricotta salata cheese on top. And then we have some sweet potato puree, some braised kale, uh, some molasses glazed eggplant, so it's been charred first. And then we're doing um, some capon, and they're gonna be served with some uh, roasted butternut squash, uh, charred lemon, and chili oil. Drawing on her background as an interior designer, Lucilla makes sure the event is a feast for the eyes, as well as the palate. The dinner happens every year at the autumnal equinox, but the theme this year is color play, and the decorations and the food all relate to that. We dyed raw silk, and all the table runners, all of the decorations, jars with colored liquid in them, those are all botanically based dyes from plants that we're going to be eating tonight. Farm dinners are becoming an increasingly popular form of agritourism, reflecting a growing appreciation for locally sourced produce. Well, I think it's really special to be so connected to the food by being actually on the farm. Um, being amongst the people that have grown your food, seeing it cooked in front of you, I think that connection that, that is able to be made at these farm dinners is really special. Let's get back to basics and start thinking about where is, all, where is everything that feeds you, where does it come from? But Lucilla and Robin believe that it's not only the fine dining that has drawn people to their farm dinner in increasing numbers, it's also about discovering a community. We've lost a real piece of our soul by not sitting down in community, sharing a meal, breaking bread. And in Chef Ryan Johnston, they've found a kindred spirit. One of the reasons why I got into cooking is I love the gathering at Thanksgiving or Christmas or Easter when my family got together. And that's what I love about these farm dishes. People, a lot of people can get together at once and you have to interact because it's always family style. And the food brings you together. It breaks down the walls. It makes it an equalizer. As in past years, proceeds from the event will benefit a local charity. It's all part of the Susie's Farm philosophy of sharing the abundance of the land. And it just feels great when we're here and seeing all these people eating the food and drinking the beer and the wine that's all from this area. It's, it's just a wonderful feeling.